Hello everybody! In this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to do this strawberry illustration using the shading brushes. Remember if you're part of Monthly Brush Club you can download all the brushes and texture papers and colors that I'm using through the tutorial. This is how the illustration pack it looks in Monthly Brush Club. Just make sure that you open and install everything, texture paper, brushes and color swatches. It would look something like that. Let's start with the texture paper and remember that we always draw in the layer underneath. Let's get a black color and the pencil brush and let's start sketching our illustration. I'm gonna start my illustration just by sketching, drawing very simple shapes. As you can see, I'm just starting with all the strawberries and I'm gonna see if I can position where those are gonna go in my design. At this point, don't worry if the illustration it doesn't look very neat or giving that much detail. We just want to position everything and make sure that the composition it is balanced. I also did two circles where two flowers are gonna go and two semicircles for other two flowers and then I'm gonna also start adding some leaves in the areas that they look a little bit empty. Finally, just add the stems to all the strawberries, flowers and leaves. Finally, I'm just gonna add some more details into the sketch as the leaves on top of the strawberries or adding a tiny triangle to connect the flowers with the stems. Also in the leaves, I'm gonna just add in some points to make a very interesting shapes in them. And finally, I'm gonna just define how the flowers are gonna also look. I want to move around some of the elements that I have drawn already. So what I'm gonna do instead of erase and just redraw, I'm gonna use the selection tool. I'm gonna select which element do I like to move, for example this strawberry, and then with the transformation tool I'm gonna just rotate and move it to exactly the place that I like. You can do this with any of the other strawberries and leaves to just position in the way that you like without having to erase and redraw. Keep doing this, adding any more leaves or any other flowers, strawberries as you like to make the composition that you prefer. Let's start to add color now. I'm gonna create one more layer and I'm gonna move it underneath the sketch. Open your sketch and lower the opacity that way the sketch, it wouldn't be that obvious. Firstly, I'm gonna change the background color and I'm gonna select a light pink. And in the layer that I've just created, I'm gonna paint all the different strawberries. I'm gonna select this type of pink and with the pencil brush, I'm gonna add color to all of the strawberries within the same layer. Every time I do an illustration, I always like to use one layer for each of the colors that I apply. Because all of my strawberries are gonna be exactly the same pink reddish color, I'm gonna use just one layer for adding all of those. Now it's time to paint the leaves. I'm gonna create a new layer. I'm using a dark green this time. I'm gonna paint just one leaf. The reason is because all the leaves, they're gonna be pretty much the same um, shape and size. Instead of drawing every single leaf individually, I'm gonna just draw one and then duplicate it. So we can save some time. To duplicate the leaf, just get to the layer, swipe left and click duplicate. Then you can use the transformation tool and then just move it to any place that you would like on the screen. Rotate it to match the previous leaf that you drew and also if you wish you can like flip them as well. I'm going to repeat this process until I get four leaves. As 
I do not want to have my leaves in individual layers, so I'm gonna merge them. I'm gonna get my two fingers and I'm gonna pinch all the layers. That way, instead of having four layers, I will have just one. Then I'm gonna create a new layer and I'm gonna paint a couple more leaves, but in a lighter shade of green. When drawing the leaves, if you need to, just use the erase tool to just erase any parts that they don't look right, just to make the shape look much neater. Once you finish, we're gonna do exactly the same. Duplicate the layer, and with the transformation tool, I'm gonna just move and complete any other leaves that they are still not color. Also using my fingers, I'm gonna pinch them to create just one layer. The next element that we are gonna draw are the flowers. So in one layer on top, I'm gonna start coloring every single one of them. I'm gonna duplicate the flower instead of drawing the last one from the beginning. And what I'm gonna do using the selection tool I'm gonna select the flower, and if you swipe down with three fingers, you can duplicate the flower. Then just rotate it until the position that you like. And the very final thing it is when you have your layers, just merge them into just one single layer. Using the same method, feel free to change any other flower or leaf or strawberry. Now what I'm going to do, it is to draw the stems of all the elements. So I'm gonna get like a dark green, and in a new layer, right on top of everything, I'm gonna start drawing all the stems. To draw in the stems, one of the tips to make the lines to look much neater, it is to draw all of this in a quick motion. Also, I'm not worrying that much if the stems are going on top of the elements, because later on we can just like use the rubber and rub it out the areas that they overlap. And same as before, feel free to move any of the flowers, leaves of strawberries using the same method, just to position everything in the way that you like. All right, so I like how my stems are looking. So I'm gonna start now making them a little bit thicker and also drawing the leaves on top of the strawberries. This is very simple, I just draw five tiny leaves on top. Usually in all the stems of plants, if you pay attention, they are much thicker when they start from the ground and they, um, every time that they go closer to the leaves or the flowers, it is slightly much thinner. So I'm gonna take that um, idea and represent it into my illustrations. So as you can see, some of the stems are gonna be like really, really big, the main ones, and others, they're gonna be a little bit thinner. Also the parts of the stem that they touch the leaves, they're gonna be like much thinner than at the beginning. I'm gonna create the center of the flowers, so I'm gonna create one layer on top, and with that orange color, I'm gonna just do a circle in the middle. Make sure that the edges of your circle, they're not perfect, and just look a little bit wobbly. I want to add the seeds into the strawberries, so I'm gonna create one layer on top, and I'm gonna draw just a few little dots in each of them. Okay, let's start now by adding some texture into the illustration. I'm gonna select alpha lock into the strawberry layers and with the line shader six, 
and exactly the same color as we previously used for the strawberries, I'm gonna go over all of them with this brush. You can tell that this adds like a very subtle texture into all the strawberries. Let's go further and create one layer on top and use clipping mask. We're gonna add all the shadows over here. Let's select a darker color. And very gentle, we're gonna add some shadows in the left part of the strawberries. If I zoom in, you can see that this creates like a very interesting texture. To make these shadows stand out even more, let's change the layer blending mode into multiply. We are going to do the same, but this time with the light areas. New layer, clipping mask, and let's select like an orange color. Let's add the lights on the opposite direction as the shadows, on the right side and also a little bit down. Finally, change the layer blending mode into screen. I'm gonna create a layer in between the light and the shadows. And this is gonna be another shadow layer, so I'm gonna change the layer blending mode into multiply. Also, I'm gonna use the brush the Chunky Intense. The shadows that I'm gonna add now, they're the ones that are created by the leaves overlapping the strawberry and also the seeds. So as you can see, I'm always adding like a very subtle tiny line on the right bottom of each of the elements. You don't have to press very hard to make this very obvious. It's just like a very little touch. I like to keep my layers organized, so I'm gonna select all of them and group them. I'm gonna name them just strawberries, so every time that I need to make any changes, I know where everything it is. Let's add some texture now into the leaves. I'm gonna start with the dark ones, and same as before, I'm gonna select Alpha Lock. And using the lines shader color 7, I'm gonna select the same color as I previously had, and color all of the leaves. For the lighter leaves, it is exactly the same, Alpha Lock, same tone of green and just go over them. I love the texture it has, but let's make this a little bit more interesting. Let's use a clipping mask layer and using the lines shader 8, let's go over half of the leaf with a lighter green. Don't you worry if it covers everything. Now with the rubber, I'm gonna just erase completely the other half of the leaf. Go over all the blending modes until you find one that I like, but I'm gonna be using the one that it says Add. Then repeat the process with all the leaves, just adding this green in just half side of the leaf. Let's do the same but with the lighter leaves now. I'm gonna take like a yellowish green, Paint half of the leaf, raise to make it like perfectly half, and then change the layer mode into add again. I'm going to draw now the inside part of the leaf. I'm gonna create one layer right on top, and I'm gonna use clipping mask. Make sure you use the same color as you used when you were drawing the stems before. And now I'm gonna draw the stems in the inside of each leaf. I usually like to start from the center and then make it much thinner on the edges. Let's do exactly the same, but now with the rest of the leaves. One more layer, use clipping mask, and let's get into it.
To make the leaf pop up more and make it more interesting, I'm gonna create one more layer right below the lines that I just drawn. I'm gonna change the layer mode into Add and also use like a lighter green or lighter yellow color. I'm gonna go underneath all the lines, just creating this type of lightening that is gonna make the leaf way more interesting. I also like to lower the opacity slightly so it's not that obvious and also pay attention when I draw these lines I always like focus in one of the sides of each line so for example if I add the lines at the like on the right I add in the same directions in the in all the lines within the same leaf repeat the process but now in the other two leaves Create one, one more clipping mask layer, change the layer mode into Add, and that's it. I'm starting to get a lot of layers, so I'm gonna start organizing them. I'm gonna group all the layers related to the leaves, and also I'm gonna change the name of the stem so I know which one it is. and group the layers related to the flowers because now it is time to focus on the flowers but if you pay attention we have two type of flowers which are the same so what i'm going to do i'm going to just draw one of each and then i will duplicate them later so for that reason i'm going to take the erase tool and i'm going to erase one flower each so then i just have to draw two flowers instead of four let's start with the big one I'm gonna create one layer on top, clip a mask, and using one of those gray colors and the pencil brush, I'm gonna go over adding some details. And it's basically, I'm gonna draw just some lines following the shape of the petal. I like to play with the pressure that I apply. So some of the lines, as you can see, they're like thicker and thinner depending on the areas. But the key always, it is just following the shape. At the end, you can add some tiny lines, just to add like a more interesting like shape. I'm gonna create one more layer and now I'm gonna draw just the stems around the center of the flower. For the center, I'm gonna select alpha lock. I'm using the line shaded one and a lighter tone of orange, I'm gonna go over it. Then I'm gonna select the pencil brush again and using different shades of the similar orange, I'm gonna draw just different dots. The key it is to keep changing the orange color. Let's duplicate the flower. I'm gonna go to my layers and select all the layers related to the flower and group them. Then you're gonna take the group and if you swipe left with your finger, you will be able to duplicate it. Using the transformation tool, just move the flower around until it gets to the position as you previously had. You can rotate it and just make any changes as you would like to. Let's focus on the second flower now. The process is exactly the same. New clipping mask layer, and with the same grayish color, I'm gonna do some lines following the shape of the flower. As you can see, I started from the, where the stem is until the edges. I'm gonna create one layer and drag it right at the bottom. And I'm gonna do like an orange shape just to imitate the center of the flower. Then also with a dark um, reddish color, I'm gonna draw the stems. Exactly the same as before, I select all my layers, group them, and I'm gonna duplicate it to create another flower which is the same. With the transformation tool, just move it around until it gets the position as where it was before.
We have nearly finished. All we have to do now it is to focus on the stems and the background. And we're gonna do the stems first. Let's select Alpha Lock. And I'm gonna select the line shader color seven. I'm gonna get the same tone of green as I used before. And I'm gonna go over all the stems just to add some texture. The chunky intense and a light color I'm gonna start adding some lightening in some of the areas that I think they will have to pop up a little bit more. Also with a darker color, I'm gonna go to the areas that are more at the bottom to create this depth. The same with all the stems and lines. I'm gonna add some light on the left side of the stems and dark areas on the right. And I'm gonna keep doing that in all of the areas of the stems. And doing this also within the same layer. I'm not creating a new layer for the lights or shadows that we previously did. Just everything in the same because I don't think it's gonna be that noticeable. Finally, for the background, it is super simple. Just create one layer right at the bottom and with the same brush of the line shaders as seven, we're gonna go over creating some texture. Just select the same tone of pink as you use for the background and very easily it will fill the whole screen. You can lower the opacity so it doesn't get as much attention as your other element. And then the final thing that we're gonna do it is to add some shadows. So I'm gonna create a layer on top. I'm gonna change it to multiply because we are gonna add shadows here. And then in the areas where the strawberries, the leaves or the stems are, I'm gonna do like a very subtle line, always on the right and at the bottom parts. And that's how the illustration looks like. I hope you really enjoy it and you play around and use the different textures and it was easy to follow. Please, if you do it, tag us at a school of illustrations so we can share your art with the rest of the community. And also remember that if you are part of Monthly Plus Club, you can access to all the resources that I'm using as part of the different memberships. Also, in the student tiers, you can see here, if you send me the illustration, you can also get a personalized feedback of it. Thank you and see you next month in the next tutorial. Bye.